Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I have been working on a memory quilt and I am going to do a video on some ideas about making a memory quilt um, out of, you know, your loved ones or friends' uh, clothing. But I also wanted to show you some other ideas, even if you had just one piece of clothing that you wanted to do something with. Maybe it wasn't enough to make a, a pillow or something like that. There's other options. And so we're going to explore those as well. And um, we're going to start out with um, a craft that is for someone who doesn't sew, but you still want to be able to do something. I found these little cutouts, these little wood cutouts uh, for Christmas ornaments, and that you paint them and do things like that with them. Well, you can also use something like this make it the most basic craft but still have something so uh, we're going to be doing a few i've already been working on some here is the little package this one i put a little glitter over the top i'm not sure if the video is going to pick that up but just to give it a little sheen and then this one um, i just used some ribbon and some um, some little detail here on top of the ribbon and you'll notice the difference in using gold paint for the bow versus red and then this one's even more basic so if you wanted the kids involved you know it could be very simple so we'll put these aside and then I'm going to do some others we're going to be working with this little guy He's a, a little moose, so it's more like an Adirondack ornament, but I thought it was really cute because I did have some uh, scraps of brown plaid. So um, I've got the first step of these done. And I just wanted to show you what I did first here was I knew the antlers and the ears would be left brown. So I went ahead and painted both sides. And then I went around the edges as well. And that's on all of these ornaments. You know, I did uh, go around the edges on all of them. I think this one and the bow with the ornament too, there's a little bit of painting on it. Once I did that, what I did was I... Oh, and these I'm just going to leave the back brown just to show you even with if you only did one side you would still have a cute little ornament but what i did was i put glue all over it and then i just laid the material <clears throat> excuse me i just laid the material down on top and roughly cut around it and then i just let it dry so we'll lay these aside for just a second there was also these little christmas ornament or christmas tree ornaments and this one, again, very basic. I um, put the glue all over it. I laid the material down on top. What I mean when I say that is this right here. I laid it down. I smoothed it down. So one side of this one we're going to trim together just so that you understand what I was talking about. And this one... I wanted to show you this. I put a little button at the top and I left the hanger exposed here, but I put just a little button at the top of the tree. That button also came off of the clothes. So you can use every little piece in some way. So I wanted to use that there. And again, uh, using the green shirt, it just made for a really cute little tree. Okay, so we're just gonna put these aside for just a moment as well. And then we're going to the ornament and this one um, up at the top I painted and then I did the same thing you put the uh, glue or Mod Podge down and just lay it down on it now you can also and I'll show you what I did here I've got these cut out so that we can do the back I was able to lay this one down on the material and just mark a little circle out around it. It's still just a little bit big, but I didn't want it to be too short. 
you know, I didn't want that glue to draw it in any and make it too short. So I do have these ready to go on here. We'll do that together. This one is another one that I did go ahead and put the glitter on. Um, and then these two still are works in progress. All right, so that is what we're going to do. And we're going to embellish a few of them. And some of them will be a little more basic like these that look like the little Adirondack. They typically don't have glitter. Um, so we may not do anything like that to these. But we do still have a few things we can do. Um, let's start with the tree since um, it's one of the first steps. All right. So, I went ahead and got it this far because of the dry time. I didn't want to show you how I painted glue uh, on the back and then put a piece of material on it. And then there's dry time. So, I went ahead and got it glued on there. I'm just going to grab a pair of scissors. And start going around. Okay, so now that we have that cut, you can see some little raw edges and stuff there. And that's fine. You can either take a little bit of Mod Podge on your fingers and just smooth those out. Or what I do is just strike a match and kind of go around the edge. I'm not sure if you can see the difference there on the side we burned, but it kind of cleans it up. All those little, um, all those little bits that were sticking out there. And on this particular one, because it is the dark green and Adirondack, uh, I like the way the dark looks on the edges too. So um, I'm going to show you this one, for example. This one, for example, I painted around the edges black, and then I also just kind of go around and give it that antique look and darken the edges with paint, too. So having this is not a problem. So we're going to go ahead and finish cleaning up the edges of the tree. Now this one, I just like to always like to do things a little bit different to show you there's more than one way and to just make you kind of think about it think outside the box so this one you can see i left the hanger exposed and then i put my decoration just right below it and then these two are ready to move forward with this one is exposed as well but i'm going to put my button over it and then this one i completely covered it in the green and then we'll decorate from there so let's go ahead and play with these just a little bit. We're going to use this on one, actually maybe even two of them. Because what I think I have decided on these is I'm making three sets. So I'm thinking about three of them is going to be glittered, three sets, I mean, I'm sorry. One set of them, I think I'm going to put the glitter on to make them Christmassy, you know. And then um, the others I want to leave without the glitter. So, these over here. That means one of these three, I will go ahead and glitter. So, let's get these out of the way. Or actually, let's put that right there. What I want to do with this, I have my glue gun hot here is I want to put just a little dot here at the side, right up at the top. And put one end of it right here. And we want to let that set up. Okay. 
Okay. And now I just want to wrap this going down the tree like this. So I'm going to snip it off. So the two that are not going to be glittered will have this um, jute on it. Now before we embellish, I did just want to show you that they are very cute just like this. So if you want it to be um, more about the fabric that you used versus the embellishments on the fabric, just know that it is cute just like this using just a button to decorate the shirt from grandpa, dad, my friend, whatever. Um, that's why I'm, I'm kind of giving you these different ideas. But it's also cute even if you do just want to add some embellishment to it and you still have that. Okay. Um, so we're going to just leave this one just like, oh, we have to put the button at the top. Okay, so since I'm going to be putting a button up at the top here, and you don't have to, um, I just wanted to use a button to uh, embellish, but I want to put this in first. And then we're just going to tie this off. You can only do one side or you can do both, just whatever your supplies allow. Now what I have, you can do something as simple as just brush some glue over it and sprinkle your glitter on, of course. But I have this little bottle of um, a glitter finish. And so it's kind of uh, submerged in Mod Podge. I also have a Mod Podge brand one of this. I just couldn't find it, so I grabbed this little one. And it's just literally as easy as this. You're going to brush it on just like it was glue or paint. Let's go ahead and pull these out because it won't take these long to get completed. Now with these little guys, I just don't think there's a whole lot to do to them. I did think about these tiny buttons. If you wanted to just put some little eyes, you could do that. But what I'm going to do right now is I want to go ahead and get that edge fixed. And you may be thinking you don't have any of the tiny buttons, but if it's a button down shirt, look up around the collar. They're typically smaller than the ones that are going to be uh, on the front or on the pocket. This one I think would look good to also go around the edges. I'm going to hold it up to see if you can see the difference where I'm putting the paint around the edge versus the opposite side where there's none. It just gives it a little detail. 
We have one set left, which is our little balls. I want to make sure that the edges have a lot of the Mod Podge or glue because you don't want it peeling up on the edges. Okay, just like that. And then we're going to put our cloth on. And you can decide, like this one, the stripes are going straight across on the front. So I'll go ahead and try to make that match on the back. Okay, and we just need to let those dry and then I will be back. Okay, trying to burn the edge of these is discoloring the red so we're not going to do the burning on this on these. You can either go right around the edge with the jute like that or if you want you can go on top of your material all the way around and then do the same thing on the back. I think I'm going to go right on that edge. Like that. Okay, so we've got them all completed. And um, as you can see, I went in on these that look like the actual Christmas, typical Christmas ornament. And I did add the silver ribbon and then I added this little silver embellishment. I just thought it really brought those out, but still showed enough of the cloth um, from the shirt. And then um, I did go ahead and redo one of our little mousse. And so we have a set completely done. We didn't have to sew, and uh, you still have a nice memory ornament. Um, I would just encourage you to think outside the box um, you can always, if you don't have these little wooden things, you could always just um, get shapes out of a coloring book or offline, print out a shape, um, like a gift box, and then trace that onto cardboard. Use one of your old Amazon boxes and let the kids have some fun with it. And at the same time, they would get a memory ornament because they're using a friend, family member's clothing. So just because you can't sew, don't think you can't do something like this. Now the next video though, we'll take it a step further and we will do some sewn ones. And then um, in a few weeks, you'll be seeing the video of a memory quilt itself and step-by-step uh, -step on how to use clothes to do that. All right, so you guys have a wonderful week and I'll see you back here later. Bye.